So it's kind of easy like for people maybe to overlook this fight for you. People are so excited for you to like fight like bigger fighters in yeah. your division. Like how prepared do you feel for this fight? Uh, 100% prepared. Uh, we train really hard for this fight with my dad, with my brother, my friend, conditioning coach. We did 12 hard rounds. I've been doing 12 hard rounds sparring over the training conditioning coach to 12 rounds. Uh, we work really hard. I don't think nobody works as hard as I do because uh, we always try to give the fans a great show and we don't underestimate no fighter. For every fighter we train uh, the same 100% because no fighter is easy up there and once you get in the ring it's really hard and a punch, a punch could change the fight anytime. Now you have a very close relationship with Al Heyman, correct? Yes. Like you like him personally and yes, also, yes. you know. Yes. But a lot of people, they with Al Heyman fighters, they say like they haven't really fought like the opposition that they like to see them fight. How do you feel about that in terms of your case specifically? No, yeah, they show that the Al loves it, that he's trying to take care of us trying to protect them, that, and he knows when to get those fights, um, that, because if, you know, when somebody like, loves somebody and, and they try to protect them, they, they do the best for them, and the fans, they, they just want to see us fight, like, give wars out there and give, like, hurt each other, but they really, I don't know when the time, when the time to fight out those, those fighters, and what we, he, he will put us against them. But it also seems that you kind of are kind of chomping at the bit to get at some people in the division like Abner Mares, yeah. also in particular Rigando. Because yeah. you and Rigando, he's called you out a couple yeah. of times, correct? Yeah, of course, yeah, he's calling me out. And I want to show him that I'm not scared of him. I'm ready for him. Uh, I'll fight him anytime. And hopefully they make that fight already in 2015. What did you think about his last fight? Because he just recently fought. Yeah, no, he, he looked great. Uh, he stayed there more. He didn't run as much as the other times. He's trying to show that he could fight. And hopefully he's fighting like that and he fights like that against me. Well, yeah, because it seemed like he was a bit more willing to engage. Yeah. So that would be perfect for your game plan, correct? Yeah, of course, yeah, he, he would be perfect for my game plan, but I think once he feels the pressure, when he feels the power, he's not going to do that. He's going to start running and he's going to do what he always does. Is there anything that you're, like, with your opponent for this fight, is there anything that you're worried about or that you're prepared for? No, no he's, a, he's a tough fighter. He, he always comes 100% ready because he has done four world title fights already and all those fights in a, a draw. So that shows that he comes to win. He always comes prepared. And against me, he's going to do the same. He's going to go and leave it out in the ring. So he could give me a tough fight. But that will be trained really hard, too, to not let that happen. So it seemed that now, like for this fight, things are a bit easier in your personal life. Because I had heard that you had a brother. He has lupus. Yeah. And also you had another friend that had cancer. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, no, uh, this for this camp, everything has been great. Uh, I haven't have to worry about my brother being sick and stuff like like the past. He was always in the hospital. I was worried about him when I was training. I was sparring. He 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 was in the hospital, so I really couldn't concentrate as much as now. Now I could concentrate because he he comes with us. He's right here joking him with us. He's wiping our sweat, so nothing to worry about. I'm really relaxed and everything for this fight. So he's actually going to be in your corner. He's really made a good turnaround. Correct? Yeah, yeah, he's done. He hasn't gone to a hospital like for a year and a half or so. And so I'm really happy and I'm really glad he's, he could be in my corner. Because I was talking to your brother Jose about it, and he was saying that I think he told me that at some point like he really didn't want to keep going and you gave him a pep talk of sorts. You said yeah. that you can't give up because, yeah. what did you say to him? Yeah, no, because he, he, he was telling me that he already was tired like, of suffering, that he was always in the hospital, that he couldn't make a good life. He was telling me that he was tired, that he wanted to give up. And I told him no, not to say that, and that whatever he could do to keep fighting for his life, that if he keep fighting for his life, that I was going to go out there and fight for and to win and give him a better life and to try to help him out because he can't work or nothing. So I said, I'm going to support you. I'm going to go out there and win the fight to, to give you whatever you need. Yeah. And how important is it, like, with this fight? How important is this fight? Because you got a really good turnout here, and also, like, it's a great card. Like, is it? And also, you do you know Stavern or you know Don, uh, Dante or one of some of those people? Yeah, you know I know that. Uh, after uh, Wal I know more Dante Walter. He was in the Olympics. I I seen him personally and stuff. Uh, he's a great fighter. So how great is it to then meet up and on this big card and be able to get a big opportunity? Uh, a lot of fans gonna be watching that fight, so the opportunity for me and to give a great fight too. And we got to go there. And and we do what we do best.